And let me tell you something. Just her attitude there, you can feel, right? The essence of her. She's the master of musical mashups. The viral violinist combines classical music with hip hop. We just love her. Today, she's releasing her first full album called Classical Bay. She's every bit of that. We want to welcome to the show Azima. And we just love yes. your style. Um, the whole mm. thing. I mean, you're a superstar yes, already. You just star. That was everything. Um, you are oh, what's called you. a classical fusion uh, violinist. You're welcome. How did you come up with the idea to combine the classical violin and hip hop? Because you're doing what nobody else has done. Not like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. You know, I think for me, um, I love classical music so much, but I also grew up listening to reggae, soca, hip hop. And I think for me, I wanted to play music that represents my identity, my culture, but also my love for classical mm -hmm. music. So fusing the two things just made perfect sense. Um, I think right now we live in such a world where people are divided and everybody's on this side or that side. And I think anything that I could do artistically to connect people and bring us together, I'm gonna do it. And it sounds so good, and it makes a lot of sense to you. It makes a lot of sense to us. But you know, you know how that classical music community can be so Ooh. snooty sometimes, <laughs> and don't mess with the arts, yeah. You ever have any pushback from the classical community? Don't do that to the violin. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I remember I took a very famous Paganini piece which is a classical piece of music, very, very old. And I added these very ratchet 808s and beats underneath. And Ooh. I just got so much trolling Ooh. on the internet. Um, wow. People were saying you're blasphemous, or like, how could you do this? And it's crazy because this classical blog in London called Classic FM, they had like picked it up because they had a roster. So there is some love, definitely. But then there's always going to be the people that don't want you to do that. And if anything, yeah. for anybody watching, when you get that type of reaction, it means you are doing the right thing. Yes. <laughs> There you're doing it, it the right way. <laughs> you're not doing it right if you don't have any haters out there. But, you know, it's great. And I'm glad you're doing it because we, we need more of you. Um, you see, you don't see too many black people playing a violin. So, so what drew you to the instrument in the beginning? So I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm actually home in Nebraska right now. I took a quick trip just to decompress mm -hmm. and come back to Nebraska. And I went to school on a farm. And they had a violin program wow. there. And I was three years old, mm -hmm. and I saw the violin. Aww. And I just begged my mm -hmm. parents to play. My dad's from Guyana. He's West Indian. They, My parents were like, what are you, violin? Like, what are we going to do with a violin? And um, mm -hmm. they finally gave in and rented this cheap little violin. And the rest is history. I fell in mm -hmm. love. I was very natural with it. Um, my parents were very encouraging, but never, like, forced me to do it. Everything really came from my own heart and you know I was I actually did pre-med in my undergraduate I didn't think I was gonna do music and I finally realized life is short just pursue what you love um yeah it'll work its way well it mm -hmm. shows you know and what so. Yeah, mm -hmm. it shows. And by the way, I, you, the cutest little thing we've ever seen with the little violin. We were putting up the pictures of you at, uh, I guess, age three. Um, uh, yes, it's just incredible. Uh, and now, yes, look, because so you followed sweet. your passion, because you followed love and had supportive parents, mm -hmm. you've already had a chance to work with some legendary artists, Stevie Wonder, Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce. Um, what was mm. that like? Um, all of them were incredibly humbling. You know, I think when you work with anybody who's a master what they do, there's just this generosity and kindness um, that flows out of them. And I think for me to see, especially for Beyonce, and to work with her all-women band, predominantly women of color, I was wow. just to the moon. I, I had kind of, I'd come from a very white space and felt ostracized in many ways. Mm -hmm. And I think walking mm. through that first day of rehearsal, you see all these beautiful women killing it on their instruments and then obviously wow. the queen i was like i had chills up and down my I, I i was gonna cry it was just such a you belong a moment for me. Uh -huh. i think that's something that was very defining yeah yeah, yeah. what was it like to get that call to say you know somebody saying hey you know what beyonce wants you to be in her all girl <laughs> band all woman band and you're gonna go on tour with her you're gonna be part of Beachella. what was that like 
So it was actually crazy because her director reached out to me via a Facebook message. And I'm not on Facebook mm-hmm. like that, you know. I was also really focused in school, like doing my thing. And um, he, because of the NBA, that he can't say too much. He's like, look, there's this artist, she's amazing. Can we play in our pack? And she wants to play in the band. And I was like, I need more information. And I almost said no to her until he called me and said, Azima, please Google my name. And I Google his name and I just, you know, put the phone on mute. And I'm like screaming. I'm like, this is her musical director, her everything. And then I like unmute it. I'm like, yes, I'm there. When do you need me? <laughs> like, <laughs> Get yourself together. You know, you yourself. Wow. Yes. I know, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's awesome. Well, our viewers are in for a special performance. Um, I don't know what we did around here to deserve this, uh, but we're just so, yes. so excited for you. Um, so just, you know, we're ready. Take it away. Okay, so I'll be playing. Um, I just dropped a single today. It's called House of Bach. Um, it uses a lot of classical music by Johann Sebastian Bach and beats. But this is the acoustic version for solo violin. Thank you for listening. Wow. All right. <laughs> Keep it Love going, it, keep doing what you're doing. You're a, an influence for little black girls and white girls around the nation, around the world. That was extraordinary. Don't forget to check out the album Classical Bay. She is Azima. Thank you so much for starting your day with us right here on Start Your Day and on BNC. Come back anytime. You're happy.